this one, you definitely have to stand out. Six Kelly. years younger is Kalina, seven and two, seven and one. Doesn't get much more tighter than that. Let's go to our announcement. Round of Beijing, Bayet Sinem Oglu Octagona. Emo 30 let. Evo Ves 84 kilogram, 100 gram. Evo Ross 186 centimeters. Professional record. 7 побед, 1 поражение. Представляет клуб Dagestan Fighter. Махачкала Россия. Встречаем. Ну, Салхам. Умахана. Соперник боец в красном углу октагона ему 24 года. Официальный вес 84 килограмм 400 грамм. Его рост 187 сантиметров. Рекорд 7 побед, 2 поражения. Представляет клуб Новорос Файт. Курс Россия. Встречаем Сергей Калине. Here we go with round one. The battle of wills here as two knockout artists collide inside of the eagle cage. We're going to build this up real big, and then we're going to go all three rounds. Decision. A lot of clinch. A lot of clinch. All the clinch. Round I'm, one coming at We here you. for it, baby. We here for it all. Let's go. Not starting off like that, you want. Kalina coming out of the gate with the leg kick. Umakop. Answer back. Kalin in there in the black with the red trim. Umakanov in the black with the blue trim. Very easy to see. Anything you can do, I can do better, huh? These guys are mirroring each other. Great middleweight division starting to shape up here in Eagle as well. And we're getting talent from all organizations. A lot of free agents coming our way at this point. And uh, you got a couple of guys here that are looking to emerge. Kalinin and Umakanov. Two, kind of two arms of this organization. When you got this, this, the Russian side and you have the U.S. side as well. And uh, it comes together and just gives a really deep talent. Oh, beautiful shots from Kalinin that he's landed. It's a good right hand. Putting the pressure on here. Makanov up against the fence, but I tell you, a lot of that clinch, that yep. clinch, clinch is coming at you. You were right. He was looking really comfortable uh, on his feet until that right hand landed and decided to clinch it up there. And deciding to go back to it, you know, I don't think he really liked that right hand at all. Maybe trying to wear on him, trying to get some of that explosiveness out of his arms. Because Kalina clearly packs a punch. Cleanest knockout we've seen thus far. I think probably we just had it in the flyweight yep. division. <laughs> yep, yep. That was that was something else. This goes to show that you never know what you're going to get. It's hard to judge by by division that you're going to get the best knockout because our heavyweight fight goes the distance. <laughs> yeah, right. The yeah. wrestling was the decider there, yep. and uh, the striking in the in the flyweights. What a crazy ass sport! Clean and showing a little bit of aggression, and now right back in the middle of the cage. Nobody taking a direct lead yet, and you never want to turn your head. But Wakanov nearly Clean capitalized on that, just a little slow to big. it. Both guys looking to find an opening. Good kicks from uh, Umakalnov, though. He's got some very good kicks. I wonder if there's any more to this with them wearing the uh, the eagle gloves. Like, is is that for sure 100% the rep in eagle? I, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense to me. Yeah. We're going to need some clarification on that. Yes, yeah, so we need to clarify. Because I want, uh, I want root for the... For the other guys, no more. Niza, no more. <laughs> no yeah. more. It's a good body shot in there from McConnell. Look for an opening, man. You can tell something big's about to happen. Kind of the, the calm before the storm with these two. 
doing a great job of kind of countering each other. Good defense by both fighters. Nobody's really got that big, clean shot through yet. Ooh, they're about busted heads together. Yeah, it's like you're waiting on a pin to drop. Nice there little uppercut set uppercut. that up. Umakanov gets the best. You think of an opponent that kind of countered you like that, they kind of same type of striking where it was, it was just kind of hard to take advantage? Uh, no, I mean, these guys are kind of mirroring each other, and whenever that has happened, I uh, you you kind of learn from that experience. Okay, if I'm throwing the right hand, he, he's definitely going to throw the left hand or he's going to throw his own right, uh, and then you try and stay one step ahead of that. I'll throw a leg kick knowing you're going to throw a leg kick back and then counter counter what I know is going to come at me. Yeah. Which it seems like shot. what's Umikanov's, happening. These guys are... You know, I, I'm thinking out of the two, I think Umikhanov has landed the most damaging shots. Yeah, the I The cleaner agree. shots. I agree. He's just a little bit cleaner in there. Yeah. That time Kalina, though... Digs in, and he's going to get a takedown but right oh, into the right. guillotine. Oh, that That's looks nice tight. and tight. It does look tight. Ooh, it he looks might tight. Have he might here. have it. He might have it. Oh, he let oh, it go wow. at the end of the round. Maybe he knew time was running out. It looked like it was locked in it solid. Was tight. That was tight. He, he looked like he was ready to tap, right? Yeah. Right? Great fight already. Showing us teases here. Umikhan off with great striking as we take a look at the replay. Yeah, beautiful body kick from him. And there's that right hand that we saw earlier. And Umakanov with some great kicks. Great kicks. And Kalinin is trying to mirror back. You know, he, he throws a head kick, so I'll, I'll throw a head kick back at you. Um, but it just seems like Umakanov's kicks are kind of getting the better of it. But Kalinin always has that right hand ready to go. Good countering by Umakanov here as you can see in this these replays it seems like he gets the cleaner shots coming out of those exchanges we're going to go into round two Kalinin though teased there at the end with the guillotine so there's there's a lot to watch here uh, in this matchup very very close they get out of round one both guys are, are finished guys they both like to avoid the decision at all possible can, can Red Corner get a stool I a, mean what's what's going on can Red Corner get a stool are, all oh, the doctors the fight? in there, huh? What's... He's having a lot of conversation with the doctor. Is the fight over? No, I think it's good. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I guess it is. I mean, it was kind of confusing, right? It looked like the doctor right. was waving it off for a second, like the ref was waving it off. But there's no cut. There's yeah. no... Uh... I don't know what it could have been, but it looks like there was like some extra attention going to Umakanov, and I don't know exactly what that was. I mean, he does have some swelling around the left eye. Uh, maybe could be a broken orbital, but it's not swollen to where it's closed yet. So I don't, I'm not sure. Will Kalinin coming out the gate. Either way, Umakanov is more than likely compromised, right? Uh, if you got the doctor looking at you that closely in between rounds, he, yeah, there's he's something going the, on right now. With Maybe a sense of urgency. Be... He's moving a little gingerly as well. I don't know exactly what it is, but Umakanov has something going on with him. So keep an eye on that. Kalina may use that to kind of get energized this round and take control. Yeah, and he's looking to end the fight, too. He's, he's not wanting to be in there any longer than he has to be. Two middleweights with a lot to prove here. Big swing and a miss by Kalinin. Umikhanov does a good job of making him pay. Good counter punchers, Umikhanov. Nice, nice body shot from Kalina. She's going to call for that. Go to the body a little bit more. It'll open up that head shot. Walking him down. 
is Umaganov. He has not really landed a lot here in this round. This has been Kalinin thus far, although he digs down with that spinning back fist and catches a little bit of the side of the head. But you're right, though. Something definitely seems different about him this second round than, than how he ended the first. I'm not sure what happened in that corner. But he's definitely got a different demeanor now going into the second, and he's down again. Cleaning on top here, two minutes into round number two. Looking to take advantage. We don't know exactly how it all ended up at the end of round one. We'd love to see some live scoring here, see exactly what the judges were thinking. It was close. Good job turning his face away there, but then... Um, um, Try to, to grab a hold of that leg. Rolled with it and went to the other side and went with, to the leg. That's, that's rare. You don't see that these days. Some guys would just accept that position once you turn their face away. Good job from him not being stuck down there on the bottom. Um, off here trying to take control. That's one thing he has done is he's cut off the cage the entire time. I yeah. mean, he, he's generally the aggressor. He's just got to do more. And the thing is that MMA judging has evolved so well that, you know, just cutting off the cage isn't going to be enough. you got to land the better shots. There was a time where if you score that takedown and you cut off the cage and you're just aggressive, you're going to get your decision. Yep, absolutely. It's changed a lot for the better. It's be a dub, but... Now you kind of got to put everything together. Yep. You got to do the damage. I, I don't think, uh, I think that's the one thing he's kind of missing in this fight. It doesn't seem like he, he's throwing much to really hurt Kalina. Nice strike into a takedown attempt. But Umakanov able to stay on his feet. And now Kalina. Giving us more. You see the blood coming from the nose of Umakanov now. Yeah. Quite yeah, a bit of blood coming out of the nose the damage, of Umakanov. That's a nice shot. Nice shot coming back from him. He's got to find some way to get back into this. Oh, that'll yeah, that, do that'll it. That'll get you back that'll into it right it. there. Yeah. That's exactly what he's looking for. Great counter puncher, Zumakanov. Stop Kalinin right in his tracks. Have that much power on your back foot as well. I mean, he, he hit that on his back foot. Yeah, if I'm him, I'm putting some pressure on him because Kalinin's putting his hands on his hips. He's showing some sign of, of fatigue. He, he's starting to wear it a little bit. Yeah, and you're landing good shots like that. Ooh, Ooh baby. They're starting well, to add up. He stung him with that they, one. They're adding up. You can't eat too many of them shots. His legs are going stiff. Feet are crossing. Oh, this is, yeah, not this good. is a turn for the worst for Kalinin, but a great opportunity from Omakanov if he can put it together. So here we go, folks. We're going to go into the third round, and this one is shaping up to be a classic. Let's take a look at the replay, Kevin. Yeah, you just see him just being a little bit sharper in the exchanges on McConnell is. As Kalina's trying to get stuff off, and there's that beautiful spinning back fist. It would have put lesser men on the ass, that's for sure. And it just seemed Umakanov started to take over a little bit at the end of that round, landed some beautiful counter shots. I mean, this fight is is very tightly matched right now. It is, it's it's another one of those that you don't envy the judges in this position. Should this thing go all three rounds, are we going to get there? Both guys have been tagged a number of times. This is going to be a close one. Absolutely. Did I see a little drone out there in the in the crowd? I did. Yes. Yeah, you saw okay, all right. We got some production value going on in Eagle. And here we go. 
Round number three, the middleweight's on display here. Strong shot. EFC 48. Nice a fighting championship 41. Habib in attendance. Three title fights still to come. Oh, big head kick right there. Big head kick. That, that's that got Omakanov's attention. He's looking for another another big shot, another big head kick. Swing and a miss that time, but that first one. Still any man's fight at this point. Absolutely. Oh. Lean and swing. He's got some power still. Putting his putting his strikes together as well. I mean, we're, he's not just throwing one strike at a time. He's putting two or three together. Yeah, what a recovery between rounds. At the end of the second, he might he might have caught his second win here. Oh, spinning there back fist by Umakanov. Just trading one for one at this point. Give me your best. I'll give you my best back. Let's see who's left standing. Minute and a half in. Not a whole lot of time left. There's a big right hand. Kalina now. He's really catching fire, Kevin. He's going for it. And he's landing a lot of these shots. He's landing a lot more. They're starting to add up. He's looking for the big one, but if he just keeps putting together these shots like this and adding them up, He'll get a lot out of it. And we really haven't seen any time on the ground at all. I mean, these guys have no. pretty much been standing the entire time. That could be the difference the maker. There's still a lot of time to work with, a lot of time to operate. That was a nice shot. Nice shot, but even nicer uh, takedown stuff. Kalinin looks exhausted when he's putting his hands on his hips like that, but then he's throwing hard coming out of it. It's it's it's, uh, it's a little more rare to see. Usually, when a guy puts his hands on his hips and kind of gives you that body language, he's usually done for. It, but he comes right back with a hard shot or two and kind of confuses you a little bit. You put your hand on your hips and you dip, you dip, we dip. That's usually what happens. Often. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, am I right, I've though? heard that before. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that one. <laughs> Under two minutes. I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> That's old school. You're too young for that. Using those knees. Umakanov, man, he is trying to battle back into this round. Kalinin really took the took the charge early on the first couple minutes, but now Umakanov putting the pressure on. Trying to drag him down to the ground. Yeah, I think Kalina's got to start to work here. You know, Umakanov is slowing it down. He's controlling the fight at this point. But it's still anybody's fight. It really is. It's, it's really no idea what, where the judges are at on this one. Oh, wow. He's Kalina for it bringing too. the heat. Right when, it, for the right, take right when you asked for it. it. Beautiful. Beautiful yeah, job. There it is. Beautiful job. That was a great succession of moves there for Sergey Kalinin. Under a minute left. He's in a great position. Going to be tough for Umakanov to get up at this point. Yeah. Yeah, he dug deep for about 30 good seconds there, and that, that's going to pay big dividends when it comes to the fight. Just that 30 seconds of hard work will make a big, big difference in some of these close matchups. On top, in control. You get your head pinned to the bottom of the fence like that. It's such a hard position to come up from. You can't get your back to the mat. You can't get your back on the fence either. It's uh, that, that's a very tough position to, well, to overcome. A, 
There's an eagle in the crowd that was real good at that, pinning yeah. you up right up against the bottom of that fence. Yeah, and if you can get your head stuck where it's where it's kind of tilted too, it's that's one of the worst positions that you can be in as far as terms of control. It's very hard to come up off of that. Sergey Kalinin, great performance at the end of that round as Dumakanov was starting to come back. Kalinin just sort of shut that down and was able to finish the round in style and most likely is going to lead to a win. Umikanov feels like he did enough. We'll let the judges make that decision. I got Kalina. So you think Kalina? I, I think, think Kalina. Kalina. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can lean there with you. He seemed like he landed the, the more damage in shots. And I really want to find out what happened with Umikanov that, that the doctor had to come in yeah. for that long in between the round. That yeah, seemed was, to be the big one, turning different. point for him. Well, it looks like our ring announcer already has the decision, so let's see how this one shakes out. It might be as simple as unanimous. It might be a split. We'll go back to our announcer for the decision. There you have it. You were right. Help. Kalinin with the win. Great into that round. I think cinched that in. But that was a very competitive fight here between the two middleweights.